Holy cow, my eye bags look huge. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Hello everybody, it is just after lunch on Sunday, January 17th. I spent the morning sleeping in, <laughs> having coffee, and I filmed a quick journal video and So here I am, fun fact, I hate editing the vlog, <laughs> I hate hearing myself talk, and it's like somewhere between one and four hours of video clips of hearing myself talk, and I've got to edit it down to 30 minutes or less, preferably 20 minutes or less, although I don't often manage that. And I dragged Bob away from the t football and on TV. And we're gonna go get some steps in. It's a little nippy out, but it's not too bad, I don't think. So we're gonna go get some walking in because we've both been kind of sitting on our butts all day. So, you know, exercise is a good thing. Try it, why don't you? All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here's a little known fact about me to all of you, but a very well known fact to my friends and family. I am a very much a creature of habit. I have the same exact two cups of coffee and cottage cheese or yogurt for breakfast every day. I have, yeah, as Bob is saying, same exact thing for lunch ev almost every day, unless we're not home. I like to walk the same routes. Bob's taking me opposite. He's making me do opposite. I like routines. I like the same thing. It's okay. I can handle it. Maybe? Maybe? We'll see. Hope I'll be back. Hope you don't get lost. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon, January 18th, I think. Holy cow, I don't know. I think it's the 18th. Let's see. Hold on. Let's check the computer, shall we? Yes, the 18th, and it's after two o'clock, that I know too, 221. Not confidently, but yeah, I have to look at the clocks and stuff. Anyway, um, it's just been a slow go this morning. It's Martin Luther King Day here in the United States, and so it's a holiday, generally. Plus, you know, hello, the inauguration's coming, so everybody's kind of staying home, <laughs> not doing it much, us included. Um, I have since we moved in, um, struggled to do laundry in that we get these Costco size or jumbo size bottle of liquid laundry soap and they're really heavy to lift up and then pour into the little cup to get into the washing machine. And it dawned on me recently, cause hello, I'm slow to the program sometimes. I bet you somebody makes a stand to like sit the bottle sideways so that you know, you can have it just like that with a cup underneath it and fill it up as you go. And um, sure they do. Uh, they make laundry soap stands. Um, they're expensive, holy cow. And I looked at them and went, don't I have a plastic basket or something I can stick under there? Yep, I do, hold on. So I fixed it for free. <laughs> it may not be the prettiest thing on the planet, but it works for me. So we're out for a walk before it gets too dark. We thought we'd come down to the river here that's not far from our house and see how high the river was because we kept hearing about the water being really high. Yeah, believe it or not, somewhere down there is a dock, but it's completely underwater and you can't even see it. It's really high. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, that's crazy. Before y'all get too concerned, Bob and I aren't in a low-lying area, so don't be worried. Our house is high. So, 
but I'm glad I don't live over here closer to the river. Wow. I know there's a dock down there somewhere. Yep. Can't even see it. I don't see it. It's, it's down there somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> it is Tuesday afternoon, 3.05 p.m. January 19th. Yeah, because tomorrow is Inauguration Day. Anyway, we are not going anywhere until like Saturday. Like, yeah, nowhere. <clears throat> My allergies have been getting the best of me the last couple of days. So that's a thing. I need some more cough drops. Um, I spent the morning and it's just allergies. It's not the big C. Anyway. So that's the sunset view out of our back window. How pretty are all those colors? Hey guys, it is 4.05 in the afternoon on Wednesday, January 20th, Inauguration Day here in the U.S. for our new president. Uh, congratulations to President Biden and Vice President Harris. Um, anyway, our cleaning lady has been here all day, working safely, of course. We stay well, not only well out of each other's way, she wears a mask the whole time she's here. And if I need to get close to her to talk to her, I put one on. Um, anyway, she's still working. <laughs> Poor thing, she's been here all day. Um, okay, you know it's a crazy time when I'm forgetting to vlog. <laughs> Holy cow. My hair looks like Einstein's sister. I had to trim my eyebrows again because they were starting to resemble Einstein and that, you know, I have my dad's eyebrows that grow straight out this way. I have to give them a little trim. Anyway, I am headed out to get the mail. Okay, I wanted to show you. So I got one of the watercolor journals out from my closet that I had, and it's a pentallic um, watercolor journal. It's, I think it's eight and a half by 11 or something close to that. I'll try to find it in the uh, at Amazon and link it down below. Um, and inspired by Donna Downey um, and her posts on social media about her new class she's teaching, I did this today. And I'm really inspired to do some color mixing of some paints that I have and sort of do sort of a reference practice book. Um, she has a class for this, so I'm never going to film tutorials for this. I can't afford to take a class. It's too expensive. So I'm going to do my own version off camera. Um, and you'll see it here. I might do the occasional still shot, but again, I'm no tutorials for me. If you want to learn how to do it, you should go take her class. Um, I will link her website down below. If I forget, somebody tell me. Um, not that her class isn't worth it. I just don't have that in my budget right now. So anyway, that's what I spent a good portion of the morning working on that painting and playing with that and having fun. I'm going to do one in my moleskin journal probably before I wrap up today. So we'll see about that. And I need to finish the editing first. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, I have a feeling this is gonna be the week where I forget to vlog. So rather than last week where I had almost five hours of footage to edit to 30 minutes or less, this week I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. Anyway, good afternoon. It is Friday, January 22nd, 2.07 p.m. 
I was live this morning with patrons and supporters. Oh, that reminds me of something I have to do before I forget. Um, I'll do it right after I'm done with this. Um, and before that, I was talking with someone I haven't talked to in a while, a friend. Um, she's going through a tough time, so I'm sending some good thoughts out there for her. Um, had some lunch, fiddle faddled around. I did a journal page and some painty papers for the live this morning. And I'll share still images of on social media later. I have, of course, other projects I could be doing. But I don't know if I want to get started on any of them. It's just going to be one of those days, I think. I just took yet another accidental picture of myself because, you know, God forbid I'm a professional YouTuber or anything. Anyway, here's a project that I might be able to do and in the mindset to do um, that might not take too long. I have these sort of bins like this of crayons and markers. I haven't been using them like this and I'm kind of wondering if I changed the way they're displayed up here and or went through the stuff that's up here to decide if there's I really do need everything that's up here. I, do, I have an alternative to this. I think I'm gonna play. I'll be back. Okay, I got rid of the things that were there before and replaced them with these drawers. I already had, I used what I had. Um, I had a pair of bookmarks in the other room, used what I had. I sort of, yes, collect storage containers, um, but I'm really whittling down my collection that when I get these impulses, I can just switch out, save these drawers back for the other bins that were here. I probably won't get rid of them. Um, and or I'll repurpose them for somewhere else, but I'm liking this much better and uh, Yeah, all of these little things up here. These are my props when I'm um, Taking photos for still lifes. I use these to put fruit and different things in so Yeah, much better. I replaced a few labels that label was completely the wrong thing for that bin and I got up rid of a few pens and um, yeah I like it. We'll work with it for a little bit. And we'll see how we like it and meanwhile, there's a few more things in the purge box for the end of the month. All right, 
So, yep, I like the way that looks. Plus, all of these little things and the books were over there on the top of the drawers, which was okay, but it wasn't my favorite thing. So now they're gone from there. So I like that much better. Yeah, very much. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning, people. It is just after 10 a.m. on Saturday, January 23rd. I think it's like 10, 15 a.m. ish. Um, Bob and I are getting a later start than I, I would have liked. Um, but we slept in this morning, or at least I did anyway. Um, we have a number of different places to go, so it's going to be a little bit of a people-y day, but we've literally been home for a week. Um, not seeing anybody. Um, the downside of that, it means that all of my things I need to do have kind of added up. So we have to hit a couple of hardware stores, the PO box and the grocery store. So of course we're gonna do it safely. We're gonna mask up and all that stuff. And um, yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so we're back from running our errands and we've had some lunch. Did a little bit of filming for an upcoming class I'll be teaching uh, later in the spring but we're getting ready now. Anyway, we are puppy sitting for a little bit. Mm, there they are. And while well, the kids run some errands, and so we're gonna go out for a walk. Novel idea, doing it during the daytime <laughs> when it's not dark outside. It is cold though, and it's supposed to get fairly cold tonight and tomorrow. We may actually get some snow for the first time this season, so. We'll see if that happens. Anyway, we're gonna go see what we can see and get some steps in and I'll be back. So it is 6.15 and Bob and I are obviously in the car again. We are headed to go do some um, curbside pickup on dinner. So once or twice a week, we try are trying hard now as safely as possible to support the local community and, um, <laughs> and get takeout dinner from a mom and pop restaurant or something somewhere. Tonight we are trying J.B. O'Brien's Irish Pub, which is actually walking distance from the house, but we've already done more than 10,000 steps today. And I don't think either one of us are up to walking down to J.B. O'Brien's to get dinner and then back again. And plus it's really cold tonight. So yeah, so we're gonna go drive and pick it up. I see lights up ahead. It looks like an ambulance. Here, can I? Yeah, you should be able to. And then left into the yeah. thing. So anyway, we're gonna go do that. We hope you have all had a great week. Don't forget if you can and you're able, safely support your community by doing, you know, curbside pickup on a takeout meal or, um, you know, if you need, I don't know, this morning I was looking for pieces for a class that I'm teaching. So we went to the local hardware store first rather than the big box store. So do something that you can safely. Let's be kind to one another, please. Support your the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. I know all of your artists and your small um, art supply companies, they're all suffering right now, just like the rest of the world is, and they would appreciate the support. So please do so. Check my video link for relevant links for how you can do that, or just follow me on social media. Um, I know check theirs out too. I know they'd appreciate it. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you next week. Bye guys.